afternoon ladies and gentlemen welcome to the narrative this is the first episode and i'm joined by one of the garage pioneers in the music industry from the uk mc bushkin let's have a round of applause in the building <laughs> first and foremost thanks for coming on the narrative good no to much. have you here i want to give the people a quick explanation of how we met so i did a course of capital extra called music potential and that was led by MC Bushkin and Bushback Records. Shout out to Darren one time for watching this. And um, yeah, we went in there. I did a radio, radio production course and it was a great experience. And that's where we first met. Yeah, man. Hundreds, hundreds, I hundreds. Mean, yeah. You're one of the shining, <laughs> shining students we, we had, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously I had experience before, but it was good to meet you guys and you guys really nurtured us got me out in Croatia at, at um, Outlook Festival so that was one of the best things I got from that and it was an amazing experience so thank you to that one no, thank man. you for coming Good today job. and no. yeah man I just want to say you've been a positive vessel for me to flourish in this music industry no man respect man love yeah, them kind yeah. of things there yeah so now I must tell the, the, the watchers and the listeners yeah, my energy is on about 25% right now so excuse the posture <laughs> literally like I'm dropping I've been working non-stop man but them kind of little talks there I can feel the energy coming back yeah, in. I say, yeah, yeah, yeah. The positive it. little talks there, lifting me up straight away. 100%. But well, you were busy yesterday. What were you doing yesterday? Um, yeah, yesterday we done the um, Garage Classical for DJ Spoonie at the Water Albert Hall. Um, yeah, that was like an amazing event. Fun enough, we've, in all the years we've been doing this music stuff, we've never played at the Royal Albert Hall and then we've happened to play there like twice in three weeks. We've done Kano's concert there a couple of weeks ago and then last night for DJ Spoonie. Um, with like an all-star cast man so yeah it's amazing yeah, I saw man. a lot of names there it looked like it was a big concert yeah 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 now it was happening man it was yeah good to be a part of it again it was the royal albert hall sold out and that's like obviously one of the most prestigious venues in london so just to be on that stage just have that on a resume is uh, a big look and then to perform alongside emily sunday was there she was like one of the headliners craig david made a special guest appearance mm. um faith Paloma, I think it's Paloma, yeah, yeah, yeah. She yeah. was there also, the Sugar Babes, yeah, Sugar Babes. I saw the Sugar Babes, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a lot, man. It's epic, so, so yeah. yeah, good look, very good look. See, I know you'll be that's why we started late today, but obviously, you're busy, you know what I mean? So, yes, uh, no, no rest for the wicked, but no, um, no, no rest for the blessed. Let me pull you up there, no yeah. rest for the blessed. Get that <laughs> <For> the right, <laughs> get that. yeah, I'm gonna have to store that one. Um, yeah. you've got your own show as well, actually, on BBC, yeah, I yeah. Um, with Dino, Novelist. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we just started back on BBC One Extra. Mm. And we used to have a show back on One Extra when it first launched in the days. So we was like one of the first, we was, yeah, in the first handful of people that was on One Extra. I think that was about almost 17 years ago. Damn. So they've literally called us back now again. And um, yeah, we started our show two weeks ago. So yeah, we had Big Zeeks and um, Dino as our first special guests. Mm. And then this week gone, um, we had Novelist. So yeah, man, it's, it's good. Yeah. We got a jungle special. What we're gonna do this Sunday as well, and yeah, we're gonna loads of guests planned, and we got quite a few little things planned for that show there, man. So yeah, man, if you don't get a chance, log in every Sunday seven to nine. BBC mm -hmm. One Extra Heartless Crew. Yes, it's happening again. Heartless Crew. Shout out to Fonty one time as well, yes. and Mighty Mo, the on, legends man. in the in the industry, man. Big up to them one time. Love. Um, need to get me on the show as well by the way yeah man saying that man yeah we're getting soon we get in there we get our feet on the table <laughs> you're done though yeah, you we get to open the, up the, the doors the, and the shavings get special come up on in there, yeah so we I got you we got you yeah. brother man we got you 100 man shameless plugs have to do it you have to do it no man that's what it's all about man yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no it's all good man we got you because you say you know what that's done consider yeah. that done man i really i respect it man um also i seen you with um kojo funds abroad yeah, and yeah. Obviously, like you got a lot of connections with people in East London. Who, who's like the main people that you work with from from East London? Um, I mean, I'm working with everyone. I'm not gonna dis like discriminate and say East London, you know, because mm. I'm working with the whole of London and out of London and international, you know. No, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, we 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 bought Kojo in um in Dubai. That was a again about probably three weeks ago. I was out there. Me and Harvey had a show out there. Oh. Um, we was headlining our own show, and then um Kojo Funds came to the show. IO Beats also came to the show. I'm going to be doing some work with him, actually. Me and him have um, got a yeah. tune kind of bubbling back and forth. So, yeah, shout out to IO Beats. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, we, Kojo was there, man. He, he was loving the show. He was actually there doing a, something else. I don't know if he was doing a video or another show himself. And he came to our show. And we're loving it. We bring him on at the end of our show. 
Um, even me and him are talking about doing some music together. But again, it's just time and everyone's busy, busy right now. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. The same trip we, with Nines. We, we brought Nines out there. Um, oh, there's quite a few artists, man. Mm. Yeah, my man's chatting to everyone still. Yeah, it's yeah. right now, it's that time. Everyone's on it. Mm. And the intent. Mm. Everyone, we all, everyone's got a talent. We want to make music and stuff like that. So, mm. yeah, man, there's good, lots of interesting things happening. Yeah. Kano, I will, I will help, hail up Kano, obviously, from East London, though. Mm. You understand? Mm. Bring us on his concert the other day. And he's always bringing us up on his albums and always in his interviews and stuff like that. So, yeah, man, even Kano, me and him have got to do something. But yeah. It's just timing, timing man. I hear it's it. time. But the reason why I mentioned East London is because this episode, like the main topic is Top Boy, innit? Okay. Yeah, so obviously the link, it links in the Kano because obviously he's in Top Boy. Yep, yeah, I should be in Top Boy. Everyone's from East London. You're from East London, right? I'm not even from East London. East London, no, no, I'm from North London. Oh, from North? I'm North. Come on, I'm gonna get up and walk out, nah, man. Man, you better. I'm from no, East I'm London. Nah, the no, way it's gone wrong. I'm out of it. Oh no. Yeah, I'm North London, man. We come from North London. <laughs> I might live exactly that, you know. Oh no, yeah. it's East London. Too. Thing. No, no, you know what it is? Now people, where we originally started playing in Chimes, East London, that's oh. where a lot of people know us from back in the days. That oh. was like one of our first spots. We used to play there every week. Um, E5, Hackney, mm. Chimes on the Roundabout, Lower Captain Roundabout. So just for that, yeah, people just always thought we come from East, East London. Yeah, and so oh. it's kind of been, yes, yeah, you're not the first okay, and okay, you probably okay, won't okay. be the last. Yeah, oh, okay. But yeah, it's we're okay. actually from North London, Holloway, Archway, them kind of areas, Cali. Mm. Highbury, the internet, that's all. But see, East London is, I feel like, we're the most influential part of London. And let me elaborate on this before people start to get a bit mad. Uh, yeah. Good night, goodbye. <laughs> let me elaborate on oh, this. We're okay. about to kick off, mate. It's, always, it's so getting left. The narrative, we discuss topics that influence the world that source from London. Yeah. So, Top Boy obviously has been a big influence over the last, I'd say, since it released mm -hmm. up till now, and it probably will be for like another, let's say, three to four months. I've seen LeBron James post it on his Instagram, um, and Golo Kante is watching it on a plane. You know, a lot of people are interested in, in Top Boy. It's a big thing right now. So, yeah. and that is from Hackney, East London. Oh, and a lot of the actors are from East London too. A lot of the songs that are made are from East London rappers, not just, but yeah. a lot of the songs. So, I wanted to talk about Top Boy, but you said you haven't seen it. Have yeah. you not seen Top Boy? Bushkin? I know it's a crime. It's a crime. It's a crime. Oh. It's a crime. I'm, I I must confess, I see about seven to 12, twelve minutes in the barbers one day. I was getting a trim, but I couldn't even stay. It was it was engrossing me still, but I couldn't say I had things to do, mm. and I already got on my little markup, and I had to cut out Ian Zan. But I watched a little piece of it, about seven mm. ten minutes of it. You understand? But I can't, wouldn't really talk about it and say that I've seen it and uh, things well, like you, that. You ain't seen like any clips online I, or anything? I've heard the hype, no. I, oh, well, I saw that 10 minutes there. Damn. You understand? But I've heard all the hype and all the gas. You I need to watch it, but again, time, time is a factor, man. Yeah. <laughs> time is a... I thought you must be super busy, but it's like, I want to talk about like, in in the actual film, I want to talk yeah. about like the best actors and like, okay. who I feel. I heard Dave is doing done something good in there. Yeah, yeah. Dave, he plays a character called, um, I think it's Modi, and he's like an antagonist in it, and he gets out of jail, crazy stender, and he does a madness, then he gets, he dies eventually. See. And then, yeah, Kano's, he, obviously, in the previous episode, he's friends with one of the kids, the kids dies in the burning building. Like, there's a lot of things that happen, and it's so, like, it's so London, a lot of the terminology. There's yeah. even a character in there, it's like a girl. She's a girl, but she's like a tomboy, and she, like, she, she kind of ranks up amongst the, the, the guys and she becomes like the girl in the group that's like one of the bosses and that's like so realistic to london as well but yeah if you had seen it you'd be able to chime in it's cool it's cool no 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 not to worry man but yeah for those watching like every episode we're gonna have concepts that happen in london that influence people worldwide that's the main um that's, that's the, the narrative. yeah that's that's the narrative yeah so we want to push like the that. narrative worldwide i like that yeah like to the extent that. where we can dictate the narrative so uh, if somebody wants to come on let's say you come on in a year's time and we do a show together we can say okay from now we want london to be this or we want to express yeah. this angle you know what i mean that's yes that's yes. how i want the, the ship i like it i like yeah, it i like it i like it that's like how we're rocking man and i even saw you recently um in skeptics video yeah, yeah, yeah. We done Skepta's video as well. Yeah, man, that was a good. Do, a, do good. you know what? Like, I've been a fan of Skepta from young. Like, I grew up on Skepta. Like, I know all the lyrics to like most of these songs that he did back in the day, the Gram songs. So when I saw the the new album Ignorance Is Bliss, 
and then I heard the song with the um, sample for um, Murder on the Dance Floor. Yeah. Like it instantly like clicked that it's a garage kind of song. So when yeah. I saw the video and I saw you in it, it just it made sense. perfect it's, sense. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. you couldn't have made a better video if you, if you, if you did it again. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And I saw all you guys in the video catching the vibe. How did that even come about? Um, again, I mean we've known Skepta for years. Skepta, oh. he's from North London. Yeah, okay, yeah So yeah. we've known Skepta for ages. Yeah, no man. Um, so yeah, is is um, I think he he kind of reached out and basically said yeah he wants us in the video. Explain what it was and explain the concept, house party and the vibe. Mm-hmm. And then of garage. And then he said listen, it has to be you man basically. And then mm-hmm. funny enough, from what you don't really see on the video, it was actually a party. Mm-hmm. We had the live decks on me and Mo were MC. Okay. We, we actually got Skepta on the mic. So at one stage with me, Skepta, Grisco, um, Jammer. All of us going back to back on the mic, like just vibes in. They had the Hennessy there, and people it was actually <laughs> like a proper party. Everyone smoking, like a, they really w- got that house party vibe. Yes, and the, the video does depict it a little bit, mm. but when you actually there, it was yeah, man, proper, proper, vibe, proper yeah. vibes, yeah, man. Yeah, I l- I've been in a few music videos, and usually when it's like a party scene, it actually is a party, so you get to generate the real vibe, but so that when people are capturing it, it's legit. It's legit yeah, exactly yeah, that. No, I got that from the video as well. Like, the mm. video was sick, man. Yeah, like, man, a good, good, good video. And I love the sample for the song too. Like everything just made sense. It gels, in it? Yeah, B Live kills it as well. Yeah, yeah. to hail up B Live as well. Still, yeah, so. yeah, no, yeah, it's man, it's a good thing. You know what? Quickly, I'm wanting to stick back because you were saying something about East London setting the trend and stuff like that. Yeah. And I again, I'm gonna d- dispute because obviously I'm from North London. I'm mm. gonna fly the flag, but you know, North London for London is the original trendsetters. You oh. might not know this, but I'm going to inform you and okay. educate you. you know I saying? mean, you North are... London is the original setters, you know. It's us men come with the straight spurts and all them thing, all the swag and them thing. There's North London, you know, we set it. We set the mold, you know. Okay, first. so what about grime then? Again, we set North, North London. Grime. 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 Who started grime? What? Whoa. <laughs> grime is east london no no you know what it is again this is a big debate here like a lot of people say heartless crew started grime yes? and i wouldn't say we set off to start start say we didn't set off and say yeah we're gonna start a movement called grime mm. but what it is we were the first to do like what grime is about now so grime is essentially about energy mm. it's essentially a more mc driven scene yes? and mm. like when we came into garage Garage was about the DJ, Heartless could be in two MCs and a DJ. Yeah, it yeah. changes the focus, so yeah, now yeah. the focus point is on the MC. You know and Heartless could we used to spit lyrics right across the tunes in the garage days. You know and this, these, these little things shaped grime because this is what grime's about. Heartless could when we came to garage, we were reloading tunes. There weren't no reloads in garage. We were reloading it. We were the ones like chatting four bars and getting a reload, yeah. which yeah, we've yeah. got from the yardies. This is what Jamaicans do over the end we were the ones coming onto the front of the stage and jumping up and reloading. This is essentially, the, all these are like, the, this is the essence of grime. And no one wasn't doing this. None of them man, the Skepta, Kano, Lethal B, Wiley, none of these men could dispute any of these stuff. No, I'm of saying. course, of course. Like, this is yeah, yeah. factual. Yeah, and no, them yeah. man, they used to listen to us on the radio station, you know, and doing all this stuff. You know, and in, we was chatting about rude boy business and this, that, and the other. You know, and them things weren't happening in, in garage, you know, and so all these elements, you know, and again, front is speeding the music up, pitching it up, you know, and mm. this was all stuff that we were doing that no one else was doing at that time, and these are the things that sh- actually shaped grime. So I, I would say, yeah, the stuff we done was the essence of grime. I wouldn't say, oh, we went out there and said, yeah, we're gonna make grime and make a new genre. It definitely wasn't that. But if you go right back to the foundations of it, mm. you have to draw our name. I think a lot of grime artists, like the old school ones, will definitely say you guys shaped how grime started and stuff. So I can't even dispute any of that. I hundred percent agree. But when I say I feel like grime was the cornerstone of everything that's happening now, from like like the drill, new drill movement, even like the Afro swing movement, like grime was the actual source that everybody can universally say was the concept, or like where it actually started. Mm. Because then again, we could go further back and say, um, you know, different music from like, like back in Africa influenced, you know, let's say jazz music that influenced this music that eventually influenced Gary. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So it's just about it's how far knock, back Yeah, that's right. It's all a knock on effect. But I, for this, like, like generation, mm-hmm. you know, and again, because 
grime is a tempo of 140 so it, it isolates itself in a way so if you want to st- go to the, be- the beginning of that yeah. then that, that will be garage and then the beginning of that is us man us, us man was speeding up the tunes where mm-hmm. it's a again what we was doing then is nothing different than what all of these men are doing now absolutely nothing different you understand there's nothing that none of the man that could say they're doing anything different you understand than what we was doing back then you understand we were jumping up getting all the big reloads mm-hmm. you understand the shouting the four bar pull ups all that kind of stuff that is the essence of grime you understand so grime um grime may say it's got a little bit of a calling on the apple beats and whatever came after mm-hmm. but it all came from that garage remember this is we're talking about the like probably mid to late 90s early 2000s basically mm-hmm. yes, and that's where the whole thing really starts right, right. shaping yeah. from yes and then the people got on afterwards probably the, the grime boys really jumped in around 2005 ish you understand 2006 even okay okay do you know what i want to do i have to make this my soft mission yeah i need to get people like dizzy rascal the canos the lethal beast to come on the show yeah. and ask them where they think it originated from and then from then we would have an answer. We'll, we'll eventually, that's good. That's very good. You're yeah, market research. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put out there. I'm going to say a few things to you. Ask and these stuff. Like energy, number one. Mm. You understand? Because grime is about energy. Mm. It's an energy like, driven scene ultimately. You understand? Mm. About jumping up and screaming yeah. and shouting. That's, that, that there is me. None of them <laughs> yeah, know what I'm doing. Yeah. None of that prior to myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I take the credit for that within the artist group. You understand? Then again, on like you've got DJ business, mm-hmm. so pu- wheeling up tunes, pulling up tunes, you understand? Fonty wheeling up tunes like a bashful DJ, mixing quick, that was mm-hmm. Fonty, you understand? All of that kind of stuff. MCing all over the tunes, again, that's me and Mo, you understand? Mm-hmm. MCing because the, even in the garrison, it was that the MC was secondary to the music. Mm-hmm. Grime, the MC is like yeah, prim- yeah, 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 primary yeah. to the music, you understand? Yeah, yeah, again, yeah. that was something that subconsciously we, we rang in, understand? So yeah, okay, ask, okay, them, okay, yeah, ask okay. them about all those little we'll things there we'll and that. see what they say. Dizzy Rock, all them man, because them man are always to listen to our radio yeah, show. Yeah, I know, I know, I know <laughs> them man are locked into you guys because you guys are the pioneers for like sound system and you know garage yeah. and that shifts a lot of what happened in the scene. So yeah. like I said, we're gonna go. No, get it's good. No, I like that. And again, I'm not even trying to take any over. I'm just saying the facts of what, how I believe it happened. Yes, and, mm. and I will also before we just move off that to please for it also to man like Shabadi, mm. all the jungle man, because their man inspired us. Okay. Yes, and, and yeah. the jungle is in a way. Yes, and what's inspired the way that we dealt with garage and that like the whole chatting across all the rhythms and stuff like that we got that from jungle so man like five oh mc shabba debt mm-hmm. skibber d navigators r.i.p steve hyper d all these kind of people and said set the trend for us and then you go further back to the bashment man tip iry sweet iry so it's been a yeah, change chain, yes i'm saying yeah yeah it's, yeah it's, it's been a change how, how far you want to go back okay but yeah we'll go back to that one so as of right now like musically yeah. like what who are you thinking that is gonna go on to be like the goal in the next like five years? Not now, like who you think that's in the scene right now that's gonna be the guy in like five years from now? Mm, that's a good one, still you know. Because uh, for me, I'm just thinking more long term. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like some people can be popping right now. Yeah, but, but they ain't got much longevity. Yeah, that's longevity. what I find nowadays. That, uh, that artists nowadays. I mean, the artists nowadays are more studio based, and that's why we, uh, on our radio show we're bringing the artists into MC and to cipher with us and yeah, just yeah. vibes. Yeah, because we're finding a lot of the artists and they're good in the studio, but when you put them on the spot, they're not really yeah, like that, yeah, and that's why yeah. a lot of them haven't got the jevity. Is yeah, that because they're good in the studio, but when you go and see the live performance, it's not the same. It thing. lets it down. And a lot of people complain about that, you know. So well, it's, it's to, um, that's one of my main gripes of the UK scene at the moment. Mm-hmm. No one like practices or prepares their performances. And everyone performs over their songs. It's pointless. It's pointless. pointless. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. Like, I could go up there and say that I'm so- someone, if you don't know what that person looks like, mm. I'm just going to sing over their tune. Mm. And it's like, yeah, really. When you when a, you see, when you hear a tune of something and you like it, mm. you understand? That's like, yeah, 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 you love it. And when you go and see it, see that person or that per- yeah, the person perform live, mm. that's supposed to give you the goosebumps. Like, that's yeah, supposed to be like, yeah, yeah. you're supposed to leave, oh my gosh, that was amazing. And these days in the UK, it's back, oh, someone's backward. You hear the tune, you're, yeah, you love it, and then you go and see it, and you're like, what? Yeah, What's that? Really. So, um, but anyway, getting back to the point, who do I think? I mean, again, I'll, I'll, I hate up Kano, man. My man's really, really good. Like, he's, he's good performance-wise, and his tunes, and Jebby, he's not overly hype or nothing like that. He's had Jebby, and he stays in his lane. He's calm and collective with it. Mm. I rate him. Getz has always been one of my favourites. You understand? Know I but think he's in everybody's top five in the UK. Yeah, he's, he's definitely, you know, he's hectic. 
in Zion and he's again he's had good jevity. That's an old school word right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, let me see. I'm trying to think. Chipmunk. I, I rate Chipmunk. You know what I'm saying? I rate Chipmunk. Chipmunk. Lyrics. You can't really chat to Chipmunk yeah, in there. No one. Yeah. Not much man in the UK can chat to From Chipmunk. From 16. Yeah. Lyrics is the bad. He's a, one of the baddest, if not the baddest still. Um, trying to think of some of the younger ones coming up now. Yeah. That's. You got three. Let's get two more. Two more, and you got top five. I mean, Dave is very good. You know what I'm mm. saying? I like Dave. He's got a different kind of swag to him and a, a different style. You know what I'm saying? He's hype, but he's not really hype. He's in the middle. Mm. He's, yeah, he's a bit like Kano in a way. You know what I'm saying? He's got yeah, that yeah. sensible kind of style to him as well. Yeah, I, 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 rate, it, I rate him. Um, One more. I'm going to throw in a female then, so I'm going to yeah, throw in... Yeah, it doesn't have to be a rapper. It could be a singer, you know, it could be anyone. Yeah, I'll throw in... You know, let me, I was going to say Miss Banks, I'll throw her in and I'm going to throw in Sweet P, one of my own artists and Bush Bash recordings okay, as well. Okay, Sweet like, P, yeah. we have to play our song at the end of the show. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 we'll do well, that. Miss Banks is the, fa- is the last person. I'm, I'm putting in Miss Banks in there, yeah, because I like how she's going in, man. She's got, I look like she's got Jevity, she ain't running that lyrics, she's got swag, she's got mm. style, she can perform, so, yeah. Who's the best person you've seen perform? Go and think yourself. Cause I know you come with the energy, like we've done sets together, so I know you come with that yeah, yeah. real energy, like you feel it, like yeah, that's it's it, undeniable. Man. Um, but who have you seen live that you're just like, they got it? Gets is a, Gets has got it. Yeah, Gets has got Gets it. Gets has got it performance wise. Gets reminds me of a younger version of myself. Um, you understand? Know he has got that set, he's that same hype and charisma. You understand? Know mm. I give him that. I tell you, you had it. Crazy Titch had it. Yeah, you understand? Know he, he had the energy. He was a good performer. Um, let me see who else nowadays who I can say. See, I love that I'm having this conversation with you because you are saying the people I grew up on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. just like, I know, I can relate. Like, I've seen the sets with Busy Rascal and um, Katie Titch in the, the, I don't even Deja know. Deja Vu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah what yeah, was yeah, that? Was Deja Vu? Deja, yeah. Yeah, see, that's like, to me, that's like, that's like. Le- yeah, that's literally, that's history, That's what I grew up on, like, that's, that's literally. That's like, history, that's yeah, proper history. Yeah. Um, who else? Harvey. Harvey. Harvey's man. a bad boy performer. Harvey is a performer. So, yeah, I mean, I yeah. Seen him perform, you know? Harvey is a performer. He's electric. He uh. is a, a good performer. Um, so the guy, he was at the thing yesterday. You wouldn't know him, but Lifford, um, mm. he's like an old, old school kind of garage singer. Brilliant. He he is a brilliant singer. Like he's a performer. Okay. There's a few. I just got my mind. Was, um, Big H. Big H. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what? Uh, the reason I mentioned Big Case is because he's got like a lot of personality. I haven't yeah. seen him live, but I just know that he's got a lot of. And he's from North London as well, right? Yeah, yeah, he's North London. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, like Tottenham kind of. Well, yeah, he's he's got a vibe and he's got character mm. as well. He's he's got a good character. I mean, Big Nasty's got character as well. He's quite a good performer. He said he can bring it out of the bag as well. Um, uh, who would you like to work with right now? That's in the scene. You've got one single that you want to do mad numbers or you just want to create a new type of sound that no one's created before who, who are you selecting um, could be a question. could be a singer you know and then the, the cameras are rolling they might see this and be like we want him well if it's like that and i know that this this show is going to travel far and wide you know i've got to say, oh, like my girl rihanna you know <laughs> yeah, yo, girl, Riri. i'm gonna take it over there you know <laughs> yo yeah, rihanna yeah, hold yeah, up yeah, yeah. oh god <laughs> <laughs> Bad girl Riri. Yeah, yeah man, everybody. trust me. Yeah, boy, yeah, Trust me, me and I can make some magic, not just in the studio, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that is all of that. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah no, no, I'm, I'm liking the list. I'm liking the collabs. I think you mentioned and you touched on a lot of people that people watching will also agree with. Yeah, yeah, man. Like the, the names you mentioned, the household names. And, mm-hmm. um, uh, you know who I've got hate up as well when we're talking about um, in the UK? Again, one of the baddest, and I feel say he's slightly underrated. No, Angel, we've just done a tune together, mm. but Angel, he is one of the most like decorated in the UK. Baddest people really mm. don't realize like, the depth of my man, like from songwriting to producing, yes, and he can play instruments. Mm. Obviously, he's a bad boy singing himself. That like, he like really, 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 he needs a lot more spotlight, man. I have to hate him up because my man's like epic. He's, yeah, he's one of them epic kind of characters there still. Seriously, yeah, people need to stop yeah, sleeping. So, uh, even, like, I know him and I've heard a few of his songs, but 
I haven't really taken him in, you know? Like, maybe I should just go back. No, nah, Prem, yeah, trust me. I just not, remember, he's working for loads of people, you know, like mm. loads, internationally as well. Yeah, yeah. he's in always in America and he's, he's doing a lot of stuff. But again, he's one of the man they don't get the limelight, so to speak, you understand? But trust me, his thing is up, that like, turn up loud, you understand? Rich is another one as well, don't probably get the limelight, but Rich is a bad man. He's one of the baddest mm. for the UK. Lyrics and everything Lyrics, like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 can't chat to him. Yeah, I think Rich we top them again, you know, North London again. So yeah, no, North London. I think every end has great rappers, legendary yeah. rappers. Yeah, but yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, East yeah, London, skip, skip, that's skip, the heartbeat. Skip, that's the... skip, skip, <laughs> skip, 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 skip. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, we're gonna wrap up. We're getting towards the end of the show now. Washington, thanks for coming on the show. Honestly, like your time is valued. We no, respect man. you here. This is the first episode for the narrative, so we're very blessed to be blessed. No, with man. someone who is one of the originators, the pioneers of Sound System Garage in the UK. So let's give a round of applause for Kushkin. Love, my love, big up. Respect for having me. It's been a yes, pleasure to open yes. up the, the show as well, still. Yes, we appreciate it's a very it. privileged man. And yeah, Rihanna, make sure you holler, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, love, brother, man. Big up, man. Peace and love, guys.